full vuh-vuh-vuh. Phew! Yeah, f*** this, I ain't doing that shtick. It all started April Fool's Day. Fake Crash took over Crash's social media accounts, and we even got a showcase of him picking his teeth. Ugh. And then later in the week, Fake Crash was properly unveiled to us in all of his goofy, exaggerated glory. His oversized floppy ears, his big bulbous nose, his bushier than hell eyebrows, and giant, quite frankly, scary teeth. Everything about who Fake Crash is is communicated well here. His deep laugh and goofy voice, his nose bends over backwards, almost touching his face. He even supermans when he jumps. However, this trailer was also the reveal of Jungle Boogie, a CNK level that was based in Terra, the first world. And it really feels like we're racing to a deep, dark jungle. But it also has this green glow with everything. Most of the structures have some green glow emanating from them, and even some of the plants. Overall, the tracks do look like the Rolling Stone levels from Crash 1. But that glow brings up a question. Does this track still take place on an alien planet? Even the version of Jungle Boogie that was in CNK didn't have the green glow, so I think they might be trying to emphasize the alien part of this track. And if it does take place on an alien planet, does this mean that the CNK story will somehow be worked into the adventure mode? How would that work? Would it be a natural integration, or would it be only part of the nitro fueled version of the adventure mode? Does this mean that Velo is coming back? Is Krunk coming back? Are Zem and Zam coming back? This one level raises so many questions! I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it! Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! content in the form of pre-order skins. This confirms that character skins are going to be a thing and that some of them will have specific podium animations. I do have some questions. First off, I know I'm skipping a bit, but this is our first look at Gemstone Valley, the hub world that CTR used for cup races. As you can see, it's an upgrade visually, and I'm not just talking graphics. The podium itself has a lot of crystals and gems embedded into it, with gold, silver, and bronze trim for first, second, and third respectively. The archway that would comprise of the winner's circle has also been changed from stone to giant crystals, and there's grass growing all around it, as if this was a natural structure that just happened to show up here like this. It looks really cool and makes me want to see all the other trophy podiums. Also, I'm getting a very specific vibe from this trophy podium. Almost as if I've seen similar structures before. Nah, it's probably nothing. Then there's the skins themselves. Seriously, these skins just scream Super Sentai parody. But one thing I do have to question is the color schemes. Crash fits him just fine, and Coco's cotton candy coloring is okay. But what's up with Cortex's colors? One would think he'd get a red suit considering he drives the red cart, but instead they went with blue and yellow? It seems too close to Crash's colors for my taste. Makes it seem like they're trying to imply that he's on the same team. These skins also bring up some poignant points. First of all, the skins in the custom podium animations remind me of MOBA skins. You know, those special skins with custom voice lines, animations, and victory poses. Does this mean there will be more skins for characters later on? Will these have special animations? Will they cost money? God, I hope not. The last thing I want is to see this game having an online store for skins. Second is that, are these the star skins that come with the Oxide Edition? Because they're clearly labeled as pre-order skins and the Oxide Edition is nowhere to be mentioned. So I think it's safe to assume that this isn't the Oxide Edition exclusive content. On the topic though, the Oxide Edition comes with an Oxide skin, so what do you think that'll look like? Will it be a retro Oxide skin? Will it be a recolor? Will it reference another alien species? I just hope it's not a Nitro Kart skin. He looked terrible in that game. For this next segment of the video, I'll be listing many quality of life changes I want to see implemented in a Nitro Fueled. For those of you that don't know, quality of life changes are small changes that would make playing Nitro Fueled a lot more comfortable, and would make navigating things just a lot easier. So here we go. 
Beanox, I hope you're listening. First, individual volume slider for sounds, engine, and voice. I think this would address the complaints that certain sounds aren't strong enough. Second, allow us to play relic races without going into adventure mode. I like doing relic races, but I hate having to load up an adventure profile to play them. Just make them a secondary form of time trial available from the main menu. Third, allow us to access the options menu without having to pause the game. There's no way to access the options menu without starting a race and pausing in the old CTR, so make sure that this doesn't happen. Fourth, keep the load save screen and don't designate a button in the adventure field for it. Or, if you feel you really need to get rid of the load save screens, allow us to save and load from the pause menu. Also, please add an autosave. Fifth and final, add a free run mode. CTR has a lot of tricks and shortcuts within its tracks, and a free run mode to practice them without consequence would allow newer players to practice them, and also allow other players to see the beautiful levels you created. And now finally, because I think this video is kind of short, here are some hypothetical new race modes to tantalize your palate. Leader of the Pack is our first new race mode. Essentially, the goal isn't to finish first, but to stay in first place the longest. The person in first place receives points and will stop receiving points if someone passes them. The winner is the first one to reach the score limit or the one who has the most points at the end of the time limit. In Cops and Robber, there is one robber and four cops. The robber's job is to finish three laps, but it only has 10 HP. The cop's job is to stop the robber by hitting it with bowling bombs and beakers ten times before all three laps finish. If the robber finishes a lap, all cops must finish their laps within five seconds or be eliminated, which eliminates the camping problem. The robber also has invincibility frames after each time it gets hit. The robber has access to all items, and rarer items become more common when the robber finishes laps. The cops only have access to bowling bombs and beakers, while gaining access to missiles on the third and final lap. In Fox and Chickens, one player is the fox, while the other seven players are chickens. The fox's job is to eliminate all the chickens by hitting them with items. The chickens only have one HP, and if they get hit, they're done for. However, if even one chicken completes all five laps, all chickens win. The chickens only have access to TNT and nitro crates, while the fox has access to missiles, bowling bombs, beakers, and end troopy clocks. The clocks do not eliminate chickens. It's time for you to show off your driving skills because this is show off. In show off, points are given for performing certain actions, despite the place in the race. Things like boosting, hitting opponents with items, spending time in the air, and power sliding can give points to a racer. Meanwhile, things like getting hit, hitting a wall, or failing a boost will lower your score. The object is to either have the most points by the end of the race, or be the first racer to reach the point threshold. Think you're hot stuff? It's time to prove it. Brutality Mode pits you against the toughest AI in an all-track marathon for first place. You must finish first in every race in a row to win. One loss and it's back to the start. And the AI pull no punches, takes shortcuts, and can easily wipe you off the map if you're not careful. Nitro Fueled's version of a battle royale, 100 racers all enter the same time trial and drive for 100 seconds, with no items and no collision. After that, the player in last is eliminated each second for 99 seconds until a winner is crowned. No laps, no racing, just pure carnage. Road Rage tasks you with scoring as many points as possible within the time limit by hitting opponents with items. Every opponent hit is one point. In single player, you gain time by scoring points and must go on for as long as possible. While in multiplayer, the opponent with the most points at the end of the time limit wins. The nitro fueled version of Horse, in Crash, players take turns doing single lap time trials around various courses. First, one player goes and sets the standard time, and then all other racers race with no collision in an attempt to match that time. If the other players cannot match or beat the time, they earn a letter. Once a player earns all the letters to spell out Crash, that player is eliminated. Much like Horse can be shortened to Pig, Crash can also be shortened to CTR for shorter games. 
Thanks for watching. While you're here, click subscribe and click on that bell thing and you'll be notified when videos go up. It'll take you two seconds and can only benefit you. Also, go check out my other videos, like my CTR Stereotypes video or my currently in-progress Crash and Sane Trilogy playthrough. Also, comment down below and tell me what nitro-fueled tidbits you'd like me to discuss. Probably won't get around to them, but at least it'd be nice to know.